The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro look very similar with the screens that carve at the edges and that are broken up by punch hole cutout cameras in the top left of the display. On the back there's a camera bump in the top left corner. These phones have a 6.67 inch OLED screen with HDR10 plus support and a screen refresh rate of 90Hz to make content and motion look a bit smoother. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro both run on the top end Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage options, that chipset has an adjacent 5G modem. One of the most important features of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the 108MP main camera which takes fantastic pictures and supports 8K video recording like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a 20MP ultra-wide camera and two telephoto lenses. One of these is 8MP and supports 10x hybrid zoom and the other is 12MP with 2x optical zoom which is used for portrait mode. Pictures taken with the phone looks great and delivers great dynamic range and color accuracy. It also have a 20MP front facing camera which is a pretty decent resolution for selfie snapper. It comes with 4500mAh battery capacity. This phone has a 50W fast charging, 30W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging which lets you use the device as a wireless power mat for other devices. Xiaomi has a reputation for producing quality phones at affordable prices and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G is another example of that. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel. However, the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen, but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with the micro SD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there's no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another idea Sony's put and spotlight on. The camera includes a 12MP main sensor, a 12MP telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12MP ultra wide sensor, alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its alpha range of cameras and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and autoexpose your calculations at 60 frames per second while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8MP selfie camera and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front-facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, up from 3330mAh on the Xperia 1. OnePlus has added the best display it's ever made on the 8 Pro and the Chinese company says it's the best screen you will see on a phone for 2020. It is a 6.78 inch fluid display with a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 plus support and QHD resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro features a circular punch hole camera cutout in the top left corner of the screen. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the first handset from the brand to carry an official IP rating which means it's officially protected against dust and water. The phone features Qualcomm's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 chipset which comes with Qualcomm's X55 5G modem to enable super-fast internet speeds where 5G is available. The OnePlus 8 Pro packs four rear cameras including a 48MP main camera with a 1.78 aperture. There's also an 8MP telephoto camera with a 3 x optical zoom and an ultra-wide 48MP camera with a 119-degree field of view and a dedicated 5MP color filter camera that lets you apply artistic filters as you are shooting. The OnePlus 8 Pro's main 48MP camera and wide-angle shooter take sharp and vibrant shots, especially in outdoor lighting. The dynamic range and color accuracy is great. In addition to that, the camera's 3x lossless zoom can take pictures without losing detail. It can also digitally zoom up to 30x, but the photo quality really degrades at this level. 
The camera can also shoot 4K video and has optical image stabilization. On the front there is a single 16 megapixel selfie camera which delivers stunning quality. Overall the OnePlus 8 Pro cameras are a big improvement over the camera setups found on the 7 Pro and 7G Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a sizable 4510 mAh battery which is the biggest OnePlus has ever put in a handset. The OnePlus 8 Pro could comfortably last a day on a single charge with typical users in P40 Pro features a quad curved overflow display with carved glass at all four edges. There are still very thin bezels at the top and bottom. The 6.58 inch screen on the Huawei P40 Pro has a resolution of 1200 by 2640. Huawei has increased the refresh rate of the screen to 90Hz which is faster than the 60Hz of its previous phones but not quite as fast as competing handsets like the S20 and Oppo Find X2 Pro that offer a 120Hz display. The Huawei P40 Pro is powered by the same Kirin 9905G chipset that we have seen in the Mate 30 Pro 5G and Huawei's folding phone, the Mate XS. This is based on 7nm manufacturing technology and is plenty fast enough to keep up with the latest flagship phones. The processor is teamed up with 8GB of RAM and also currently the only high-end chipset with integrated 5G, meaning it will work well with the dedicated 5G networks of the future as well as with the current hybrid LTS 5G networks. If there's one thing that has made Huawei's P-series phones stand out from the crowd, it's the camera tech. The P20 and P30 handsets raised the bar when it came to the mobile photography and Huawei is looking to raise it higher again with the P40 Pro. On the rear section, the Leica branded camera setup composed of a 50 megapixel primary and 40 megapixel ultrawide cameras and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that's capable of 5x optical zoom or 50x digital zoom. There is also a time of flight sensor for creating bokeh effect in portrait mode shots. With the P40 series, Huawei is debuting its XD Fusion engine which uses AI to optimize your photos. Huawei was one of the first manufacturers to get on board with AI and the results on the P40 Pro are impressive. The phone can remove frames from a picture and even reflections that appear when you are trying to photograph anything that's behind a glass. The P40 Pro also features impressive zooming capabilities and Huawei isn't shy talking about that. Low light photography has been a strong point for Huawei and the P40 Pro doesn't disappoint on that front. The P40 Pro's rear camera layout is capable of shooting Ultra HD 4K video at up to 60 frames per second as well as super slow motion at up to an eye-watering 7680 FPS. Both modes are available on the ultra wide and wide cameras. Up front is a 32 megapixel selfie shooter backed up by laser guided autofocus. The 32 megapixel selfie shooter is able to capture lots of detail and color in almost all lighting conditions. The Huawei P40 Pro is equipped with a 4200 mAh battery, which should last you a full day of moderate to heavy uses. It supports 40W fast wire charging as well as wireless charging and reverse 